Tällä kertaa kuunnellaan suomalaisia hittibiisejä 80-luvulta. Woo, 80s, let's go! This is uh, Aikuinen nainen by Paula Koivuniemi. This is one of the most popular karaoke songs in Finland. Ah, so I need to learn this next time we do karaoke. Yeah, though it's so popular that uh, as uh, if I'm correct, it's like banned in a lot of places. What? It's banned? <laughs> now I really want to try to sing that song at karaoke. <laughs> I, I mean, I like, did it sound like, um... Yes, like I am woman, hear me, kind of roar thing. Yeah. Which is like big in the 80s, but yeah. <laughs> it's big to karaoke bars. That's what I've heard some places, yeah. <laughs> Finnish urban legends. Thumbs up just because it has an urban legend to it. <laughs> Next, some classic Suomi rock. Oh. What was that last line? About Vina Kauppa. <laughs> this is a very legendary band, a pretty funny song. Um, it's, um, as I read, it's very common in Finnish songs to sing about this, like, very, like these very tragic destinies and fates. And apparently they wrote this song as a kind of like a parody to that narrative. Okay. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. But uh, Finns are pretty bad at parody, I think. Most didn't realize it was a parody, so... <laughs> now it's a classic. Now it's a classic! <laughs> what started off as a joke is now a classic hit. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs down. <laughs> Just like, it, it... Yeah, you need to be very deeply into Finnishness to maybe get anything out of that. Let's replay this song like five years and hopefully I yeah. can understand it better. Okay. This next song actually is that type of uh, tragic song. Or, oh uh, kind of, not really tragic, but it's kind of plays with that idea. Okay. Tragic fates, you know. What is this forbidden love in Finland? What is this like <laughs> deep subculture that I know nothing about? What is forbidden love in Finland? It, it, it's just this like tragic fates. That's that's all. Like, <laughs> why that's, is that's, it that's... tragic fates? What's happening? <laughs> it's just uh, the the Finnish national romanticism comes from this pain and sorrow. What is the forbidden love though? Like what makes it forbidden? If you know what this forbidden love thing is or what makes it forbidden, please let me know in the comments because your girl is lost. What? <laughs> I, I I don't even know. I can't read this song. I, I can't read it. I can't take it seriously. I'm Isn't sorry. it nice to have such a light-hearted, <laughs> naivistic song instead of all these tragic fates? <laughs> I think I'd rather take the tragic fates of forbidden love at this point, because what the fuck? Uh, no thumbs up? No. <laughs> I felt like I was being violated the whole time. <laughs> Do you like that song? Ah, uh, not really. <laughs> okay, then. 
some Finnish punk for you. Yeah, that, that was that was very punk. I think I like US punk better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, not my thing. Like for reference, like in like the type of music I listen to by myself is like lo fi or chill hop, so like I'm very into more like calming tones, so that is and inside it makes me feel like I need to like jump out. So <laughs> yeah, no, not not for me at all. Mm. No. Do you like this song? I like this song a lot. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I mean it's uh, we like different things. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I think our taste in music is completely opposite to each other. There are some overlaps, but next is some uh, more characteristic uh, '80s music, '80s uh, electronic or dance music. Okay. I, okay. It, it's still with a little bit like a rock twist, but uh, all right, well, yeah. yeah, let's try it. <laughs> Gen X in Finland, are y'all okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> are y'all good? <laughs> Uh, are you are you about that brain damage part? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's I think it's such a genius piece of lyrics because it just it's it sounds so drastic, but like the word itself, Aivo Vaurio, it just sounds beautiful, especially somehow in this context. It's it's it, I don't understand how it makes sense, but it just it just sounds great. Forbidden love. Does it make more sense now? <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, I would say that's that's one of the most iconic choruses in, in the Finnish music history. Ooh. Well, thumbs up, thumbs uh, down. We 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 are not here for the eighties <laughs> at all. Give me my one song back from the beginning where it's banned from karaoke bars. Shit. <laughs> X, you good? <laughs> So the next song is popular in like school music books, so maybe this is more. More my speed? Okay, good, good. About damn time. It's cute, but I, I don't understand, like, the importance behind it. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. It's, uh, <laughs> for certain generation, I feel it, it has a lot of nostalgia. I mean, and, I... Yeah, I guess the lyrics are touching to some. The singer was actually a son of a pilot. Despite him being a pilot's son, this uh, song was inspired by a movie from 83. Oh, what movie? Uh, it was called The Right Stuff. What is it about? Have you seen it? I haven't seen it, but uh, it's about like um, army pilots in the 50s. Oh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Ah, uh, I am interested in like the history and then like the movie inspiration. So we're giving it one thumbs up because it, it caught my attention and gave me further questions. Maybe two. Mm. The last song. I know this song. I feel like I have heard that song at karaoke. It's also the same singer uh, as the Finnish version of I Will Survive. Ah, that's where it comes from. Okay. Vicky yeah. Rosti, Sata Salama. Yeah. She, she has a great voice and like, I, I don't know, maybe I was in the EDM scene for way too long, but I always love like that build up and then yeah. like the... It's, it's, it's a great and it's such a catchy song. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's... I. Give me your thumb so we can all thumbs it up. 
Yeah, <laughs> this is this is a great song. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. We, yeah. we agree on one song. Yay. <laughs> and this has an interesting like um, part in, in the army culture as well. Why? Because in, in the army, we count the days until you know, <laughs> leaving the army. Mm -hmm. So uh, when it's a uh, hundred days left, it's always this song. <laughs> <laughs> Every Finnish man knows this song. <laughs> that's that's the songs for the eighties. Oh, so next is the nineties. Next is the nineties. Oh gosh, if you have a nineties song in mind, drop it below. Yes. And as always, thanks for watching, and see you next time. See you then. One more. One.